How did the Paris Peace Conference contribute to the Treaty of Versailles? The Paris Peace Conference, held from January to June 1919, was an international meeting convened to negotiate the terms of peace after World War I. It played a crucial role in shaping the Treaty of Versailles, which was signed on June 28, 1919, and officially ended the war between Germany and the Allied powers. Here is a detailed overview of the major events and contributions of the Paris Peace Conference to the Treaty of Versailles. Background, the conference was attended by representatives from 32 countries, known as the Allied Powers, which included the United States, Britain, France, and Italy. The conference aimed to address the issues of territorial boundaries, reparations, disarmament, and the establishment of a new international organization, the League of Nations. Opening of the conference, the conference officially opened on January 18, 1919, at the Palace of Versailles in France. The leaders of the Allied powers, known as the Big Four, were Woodrow Wilson, United States, George Clemenceau, France, David Lloyd George, Britain, and Vittorio Emanuele Orlando, Italy. The 14 Points President Woodrow Wilson presented his 14 points, a set of principles for peace, which emphasized self-determination, disarmament, free trade, and the establishment of a League of Nations. This vision greatly influenced the negotiations. Territorial Issues The conference addressed the redrawing of national borders, particularly in Eastern Europe. The Treaty of Versailles led to the dissolution of the Austro-Hungarian and Ottoman empires, creating new nations and redrawing boundaries based on ethnic and national self-determination. Reparations and War Guilt The conference discussed the issue of war reparations, with France and Belgium demanding significant compensation from Germany for the damages caused during the war. The Treaty of Versailles included the infamous Article 231, also known as the War Guilt Clause, which held Germany responsible for the war and required it to make substantial reparations. Disarmament The conference aimed to establish a system of disarmament to prevent future conflicts. The Treaty of Versailles imposed severe military restrictions on Germany, limiting its army size, navy, and prohibiting the production of certain war materials. League of Nations, the idea of a League of Nations, proposed by Woodrow Wilson, was an integral part of the conference's discussions. The League was meant to serve as an international organization to promote peace and resolve disputes between nations. The Covenant of the League of Nations was incorporated into the Treaty of Versailles. Final negotiations, the negotiations at the conference were often contentious, with differing goals and interests among the participating nations. The Big Four played a significant role in shaping the final treaty, often making decisions without consulting other countries. Signing of the treaty, the Treaty of Versailles was signed on June 28, 1919, in the Hall of Mirrors at the Palace of Versailles. Germany, as the defeated nation, had no choice but to sign the treaty. However, many Germans regarded the terms as harsh and unfair, leading to significant resentment and contributing to future conflicts. Long-term impact, the Treaty of Versailles, influenced by the Paris Peace Conference, had far-reaching consequences. It planted the seeds of future conflicts, including World War II, by imposing heavy reparations, territorial changes, and fostering a sense of resentment and humiliation in Germany. The Paris Peace Conference and the resulting Treaty of Versailles were significant milestones in 20th century history, shaping the post-war world order and laying the groundwork for future international relations. Thanks for watching. Please like and share this video. Also hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell, and let's embark on a journey of knowledge together.